It was that time for the recently appointed board members of Uganda Broadcasting Corporation and Uganda Post Limited to officially be inaugurated to start off duty of steering these organizations. I, I swear that I will at all times. Ahead of them is a task of enhancing the capacity of the institutions to effectively compete in this era driven by information communication technologies. We are in a society where there are no borders and the society requires a lot of innovation, accountability in terms of explanation. People want to see visible things. Yes. So, and that's why this board, and this has been the guidance of our president, uh, old people, middle-aged, young people, so that each brings in the interests of the, cons of the constituency, of the democratic constituency he or she represents. So uh, I hope UBC will be able to move. So far, so good. We get a lot of compliments, but you still have a lot of work to do. You need to watch the, the speech of President Obama when he was in Kenya. He really spoke so well about the, pres the, the progress of Kenya. But in the next half, half time of his speech, oh my God, he again brought so many problems about Kenya. <laughs> so I really wonder, <laughs> I wondered the conclusion he made. I shared this thing on my, on my <laughs> Facebook last night. So he spoke so well, the progress, this, this that, this. Then at the end of the day, he brought the real problems. So there's progress in UBC, but again, you still face many challenges. So the, the, the respective M, the, uh, CEOs of these organizations, please be open to the board members. Sh give them an expose or expose them to the, to the entire organs. Give them a scan of the organization, how it is standing, the challenges, uh, the opportunities, the things you are strong about, your ideas. Discuss in meetings. My appeal to board members, Always have one meeting. Don't go into a boardroom, you don't speak, then you come out and you go to speak behind. Then you come to us in the ministries, ah, we don't want those business. For my idea, I hate it. Yes. Go in the meeting and discuss there. Disagree. If there is no agreement, defer the meeting until you take a decision. And when you've taken a decision, it is your decision. Yes. This is one of the challenges we have in government. Intrigue. Yes. Someone doesn't want to talk in the meeting, but he prefers to speak at the sauna. He says, this should stop real. This is one of the challenges we have in government. Sit in the meeting. Fortunately, as a ministry, we, we know all of you, and we have much, much confidence and respect in the, in the chairs, the people. These are people who are not really coming to seek any favor. So let's run these organizations. Poster Uganda, uh, we are, we, are, we are proud to be on the Council of the Universal Postal Union, which is a global body. We campaigned and won. So that means our postal company has prospects of growth. You are, you, both Posta and, and UBC, you boast of, of, of a big resource base, assets. So you must make sure those assets are protected, they are planned for, and you, you, you advise on how they can be made useful, as opposed to people gra grabbing them, and you have battles, and we go into compensations. So when something has no plan, it will tempt people to think of planning for it, and moreover, those who don't own it. So that's my advice to you, and uh, look at the challenges. UBC has been battling cases of people have been taking UBC to court, sometimes getting judgments which are not fair. I don't think we've been able to get enough representation. Uh, so you have to look at all of those. When people talk of, for example, balanced coverage, what do they mean? Is balanced coverage only about politics? How come other radio stations don't show us the characters from the east, north, west? So if UBC is showing the country all around, isn't that balanced coverage? So you have to discuss this and come up with what, what the courts mean. Fortunately, we have good legal minds on both teams. Because UBC has been faulted for not giving a, a space. Wh which person I, I disagree with? Because people now believe a talk show means politics. 
what if a talk show is about fish farming? So which political party should you be invited and which one shouldn't be invited? I thought you should invite a fish farmer or somebody who, who has knowledge in fish farming. So all of that you have, but you are coming in. Yes, there is a lot of work to do, but there is also opportunity to exploit. The, the organizations are not as, as bad as people thought. I want to thank you. Drawn from varying sectors with skills and knowledge, the boards commit to have better performance. See what it has played in the past and is continuing to play in building this country of ours. I have followed it from the time I was a child up to now. It has gone through difficult times, but it has always recovered. And I think now it's doing quite well and it's becoming more innovative. But of course, we have to continue to give it the kind of support it needs and to make it survive in a very competitive environment and a very transparent, highly democratic and interactive envir political environment which it is, in which it is operating. And uh, as I was talking to my colleagues here, sometimes we need to give our viewers and listeners what they want to know, but we also need to give them what they need to know. They may not know that it is, they need to know something, and it is our role as an institution of UBC Nature, national broadcaster, to give our listenership and uh, viewers what they ought to know, which maybe other stations do not do. I wish to encourage my colleagues to be open, the staff, to be open and innovative. As the minister was saying, this is a very competitive environment, and without any innovation, we shall have a problem. I appreciate the contribution of the previous boards and staff who have reached this, this institution so far, and I acknowledge the challenges that they have faced and continue to face, including poor funding, competition from the uh, private sector, and motivated staff because of that poor maybe because of funding, but I wish to assure them that we shall do our best with my colleagues to make sure that we confront these challenges with this assurance of a government that is interested in improving this institution, and I am sure they will respond to our appeals seriously. Personally, I have been involved in starting organizations I started the new vision with no money and left it when it is one of the most powerful organizations. I started Radio West, Radio Later on TV West, with my personal resources. And by the time it was taken over by government, it was doing quite well, and it's still doing well. I think it's one of the best private stations in the country for the West. I started, no. I came in to Uganda Tourism Board when it was having problems. And by the time I left it, the, tourism, the, tour, the number of tourists coming to Uganda had more than trebled. And the tourism is now thriving. So I think with goodwill and openness, there's no way you can fail to achieve what you are set, set yourselves out to do. So I thank you very much, Mr. Minister, once again, and Mr. Pierce and the cabinet which appointed us. I welcome you, my colleagues on board, and I assure the staff of UBC of an efficient and understanding leadership during the time of my tenure. Thank you very much. The board members of Uganda Broadcasting Corporation include James Rwabura Tumsime, the founding chief executive office of New Vision, former MP Tezra Jamwa, Adija Nansangamiro, a former electoral commissioner, Mike Okua, Richard Barunji, Major Christopher Obala Magezi, Sarah Namumbia, and Winston Agaba, the managing director. The sworn in board members of Uganda Post Limited are former MP Suleiman Balieju Sachirunda, Dorothy Batuli, Hussein Kashilingi, Richard Mwesga, Herbert Chigundu Mugerwa, Lilian Aber, and James Sarinitwe, the managing director. I have had the privilege 
of briefly scanning through the profiles of my colleagues. And I want to assure you that given the levels of competency, both professional and behavior, we are going to do a good job. And we shall not disappoint your confidence in us. Uh, Honorable Minister, I also want to use the same opportunity to thank management and staff of Posta Uganda for sustaining the organization amidst so many challenges that everybody is aware of. I know and I want to trust that these challenges are not insurmountable. We shall together as a team create an environment that sees to it that we <coughs> overcome them and we are seen to have contributed to a progressive organization. I also want to appeal to management that uh, you need to be increasingly innovative if we are to continue surviving in the highly competitive global market. Finally, I want to request and pray, Honorable Minister and PS, that uh, as you rightly observed in your opening remarks, Posta has many challenges, but we shall, as a board, sit together with the management and list our challenges, which we shall table before you, and we request that you give us. Thank you.